Hi, I'm Chelsea, a digital artist, and today we are going to talk about the creation of a book cover concept. When it comes to creating a book cover concept, it's important to start with the source material. If you have any questions on where to start when choosing what fairy tale you want to work on, please leave it in the comment and I will make sure to answer you. For the right choose, I wanted to read the fairy tale and take some notes on key moments, characters and themes. This will help us brainstorm ideas for our cover and ensure that our design is true to the story. One tip for taking notes is to use a notebook or digital document dedicated solely to this project. This will help you keep all of your ideas in one place and make it easier to reference later on. The next step is to do some research about reference. This means looking at other book covers, illustrations and anything else that can give us some ideas for our own design. When doing the research, it's important to keep an open mind and look for inspiration in unexpected places. You never know what might spark an idea for your cover. Now it's time to start exploring some possible concepts for the cover by creating rough thumbnail sketches. This is where we can really let our creativity shine and try out different ideas. When creating thumbnail sketches, it's important to keep them loose and not to worry too much about the details. This is a time for experimentation and exploration, so don't be afraid to try out some wild ideas. Once we've produced some concepts, it's time to review them and select one that really speaks to us. This can be a tough decision, but it's important to choose a concept that is both visually appealing and true to the story. One tip for reviewing concepts is to get feedback from others. This can be from friends, families, or even online communities. Getting an outside perspective can help you see your designs in a new light and make a more informed decision. With our concept selected, it's time to clean up the sketch and start adding details to create the line art of our illustration. This is where we can really start to bring our design to life. When cleaning up the sketch, it's important to pay attention to the details. This includes things like proportions, composition and overall balance. Personally, I like to add little lines and black hard shadows on the overall illustration and then reviewing if the line art looks actually good or if it can be improved. The details can make a big difference in the final illustration. To help with color placement and maintain readability, I created a grayscale guide before choosing my final color palette. This guide will help us see how different shades of grey will translate into color and ensure that our design is easy to read. This is not something you necessarily have to do, but if you need to visualize how the illustration should look before going to color, this will be a helpful step to get an idea on what to do next. When creating a grayscale guide, 
it's important to pay attention to the contrast between different areas of the design. This will help ensure that everything is easy to read and the design pops off the page. With our grayscale guide in hand, it's time to choose our final color palette. This can be a fun and creative process, but it's also important to keep readability in mind. One tip for choosing a color palette is to use colors that are complementary or contrasting, which is what I usually do. This can help create visual interest and make your design stand out. Now up for the fun part, it's time to add colors to the final illustration. This is where everything really starts to come together and your design starts to take shape. When adding colors, it's important to pay attention to details. This includes things like shading, lighting, highlights and textures. These details are what made the difference in the final illustration. Finally, we'll choose and place the typography and create some beautiful mockups to show how the cover will look in an actual book. These mockups are also great for promoting our work on social media and to add it to our portfolio. When placing typography, it's important to pay attention to the font choice, size and placement. This will help ensure that everything is easy to read and that the typography complements the rest of the design. And there you have it, the process of creating a book cover concept based on the red shoes. It's a lot of work, but also incredibly rewarding when you see the final product. If you find this video helpful or interesting, please leave it a like. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more art-related videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.